Thank you, Pete. A veteran Providence firefighter is facing a felony charge after allegedly making a false disability claim. John McGovern was arraigned yesterday after allegedly saying an off-duty injury was an injury he got on the job. The court amended its paperwork this afternoon showing John McGovern faces one felony charge and one misdemeanor charge. And tonight we are learning more about what he claimed happened. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is covering the story live from the public safety complex. Kate? Well, Stephen Shannon, we were standing right here this afternoon as we spoke with Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry, who said any false claims of injuries on the job hurt the reputation of Providence's police and firefighters. And he said they will be seeking criminal prosecution. A Providence firefighter on the job for 26 years now faces serious criminal charges accused of stealing $4,014.67 from Providence taxpayers. We thought it was suspicious for varying reasons. Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry said on May 11th, 51-year-old John McGovern of Cranston filed an injury on duty or IOD claim saying he hurt his right wrist falling off a fire engine at the station when he was reporting for duty that day. There were no witnesses to that alleged incident. The detectives started making inquiries where we thought something may have happened in and around you know, Point Street and they were able to establish that there was an altercation uh, that early morning of May 10th, the night of May 9th. In other words, Perry said McGovern got in a fight outside a Providence pub and filed the IOD two days later. Perry said McGovern met with him this past Monday and admitted he lied about getting hurt on the job, trying to cover himself for stealing from the city. We immediately reverted him uh, from IOD to his own personal time for the five weeks in which he was out. According to court documents obtained by Eyewitness News, McGovern was arraigned on Thursday at Providence District Court on a felony charge of obtaining money by false premises with the intent to defraud the city of Providence and a misdemeanor charge of presenting official paperwork as true when it was later proven false. He was released on his own recognizance. We called McGovern Friday afternoon about this case. He answered and simply said no comment. The Providence Firefighters Union declined to comment on this matter as well. And Commissioner Perry said on Tuesday of this week, McGovern filed paperwork for retirement. So new at 6 o'clock tonight, find out what this could mean for his pension if he's found guilty of these charges. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Pete. Now, a story we broke first on Eyewitness News. A veteran Providence firefighter is accused of collecting thousands of dollars in disability payments by lying about how he got hurt. We broke the firefighter's arrest on WPRI.com this morning. We are told 51-year-old John McGovern claimed he was injured on the job, but investigators say that that is not true. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with new details at 6. Kate. Stephen Shannon, earlier today I went to Providence District Court where I got this court document showing the arraignment of that firefighter, John McGovern, and there it says that he faces two charges related to the case, a felony and a misdemeanor. Also earlier today, we spoke with the Providence Public Safety Commissioner, Stephen Perry, who said this week McGovern filed paperwork for retirement. 26 years as a Providence firefighter and at 51 years old, John McGovern of Cranston is accused of stealing nearly $4,015 from Providence taxpayers. Whether it's $4,000 or $400, we are in a profession of integrity and honesty. And when you uh, cheat, lie, and try to take advantage of a system, it hurts not only the reputation, it hurts our pension system. Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry said McGovern filed an injury on duty report on May 11, saying that same day he fell off a truck and hurt his right wrist. But after an investigation, Perry said detectives discovered McGovern actually got hurt off the job in a fight outside a Providence pub. According to Perry, McGovern admitted the false claims on Monday of this week and on Tuesday filed paperwork for retirement. The retirement board is now looking into how much of his pension he can collect if found guilty. We have an ordinance that requires honorable service. This certainly was not honorable. And so to what effect his pension benefits will, will have is yet to, de to be determined. Now, we also called McGovern this afternoon. He said no comment when he answered. We also reached out to the Providence Firefighters Union. They declined to comment as well. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.